one, the next topic which we will be discussing is about the respiratory organs. So first we will understand what is respiratory system and then we will understand what are the organs that are involved in the respiratory system or the respiratory organs. Now, if you go about with a simple definition of the respiratory system, then human respiratory system is a network of organs and tissues that help us breathe. So the primary function of this system is to introduce oxygen into the body and expel carbon dioxide from the body. So this is the simple definition of the respiratory system. So the organs which are involved in the respiratory system include the nasal cavity through which we breathe, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bron bronchi, lungs and alveoli. So these are the main organs of the human respiratory system. So let's start with the first slide of introduction. So in which it says that respiratory system is the network of organs and tissues that help us breathe. So it includes our your airways, the nasal cavity through which your oxygen will be inhaled and the carbon dioxide will be exhaled. The lungs where the exchange of gases takes place and blood vessels where the oxygen, oxygen is being transferred to the blood vessels. Now the muscle that power your lungs, they are your respiratory system. So that is the respiratory system. So lungs, they are considered as the main part of the respiratory system. These parts work together to move oxygen throughout the body and they clean out the waste gases like the carbon dioxide. So this is how the process works. Now, so as you can see this, that these are some of the parts of the respiratory system and these include the organs as well. So there is a nose that is also known as the nasal cavity. There is a larynx, then trachea, then bronchus or bronchioles and there are two pairs of lungs which has been shown. There is a left pair of left lung and the right lung and below this there is a diaphragm which helps in the contraction and relaxation. So this is all about the respiratory organs. Now, so before discussing all of things, all of these things, we will first discuss that what are the functions of the respiratory system. So the functions include the respiratory system helps us to talk because there is a vocal, there is a vocal cavity which has been involved. There is a voice box which is in the part of the respiratory system that helps us to talk. There is a vibration when we exhale the air, there is a vibration which has been in the voice box and that is why it helps us to talk and to smell. Through nose we can smell. So it warms the air to match your body temperature and it moisturizes it to the humidity level your body needs. So the main function is that it delivers the oxygen to the cells of our body. So we inhale the oxygen that is being required for our body and it exhales the carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. So they remove the waste gases including carbon dioxide from the body. That is, that is uh, the exhale word which we are using here. So that means breathing out of the carbon dioxide. It protects the airways from harmful substances and irritants. So it will also protect the airways with the, for example, the nasal cavity, they have tiny hair follicles which, are, which cover the inner lining of the nose. So what does that function? It, the function here is it will be the first line of defense against the foreign pathogens. So that is why it protects your airways from harmful substances and irritants. Now, the main, top, the main part of this is the organs of the respiratory system. So what are the organs? The organs include the nasal cavity, the nose, that is the exterior part of the respiratory system. Then it will contain the pharynx, the larynx, which is called the voice box, trachea, bronchioles, lungs, and alveoli, where, where the exchange of gases takes place. So 
we will be discussing each of these in detail so first we will discuss is about the nose or the nasal cavity so here is a diagrammatic representation of of the nose so the, the, that is known as a nose and anatomy so all of the things are given here there is a much detailed version of this nose in in this figure so there is a nose bone which is being there there is a, a maxilla then there is a there are different bones which uh, constitute the nose so they these are all represented here now the humans they have a exterior nostril that is being divided by a framework of the cartilaginous structure called the septum so that is known as the septum now this is the structure that separates the right nostril and the left nostril so there are two nostrils uh, in the nose so there is a right and there is a left and the nose as i was telling you that nose they have a tiny hair follicles so the tiny hair follicles what it does it covers the inner lining the interior lining of the nostril and it acts as the first line of defense against the foreign pathogens so they provide the additional humidity for the inhaled air so that is the function of the nose here now the pharynx so pharynx the na nasal chambers opens into a wide hollow space called the pharynx so this is a diagrammatic representation of the pharynx so this is a detailed view so the black and white image is a detailed view of the pharynx so its function is by preventing the entry of the food particles into the windpipe so there is a epiglottis which is present the, in, on the pharynx so that epiglottis is a elastic cartilage and it will serve as a switch between the larynx and the esophagus that is the food pipe and that by allowing the passage of air into the lungs the food in the gastrointestinal tract so whenever uh, we we cough when we eat or swallow that is because of the reason that when we uh, when this, that is the reason that the rea reaction is the epiglottis for example we cough when we eat or when we are talking and while we eating we swallow something inside the windpipe and the the function here is Uh, comes the epiglottis comes into picture so epiglottis it is forced to open for the air to exit outwards and the food will not en to enter the into the food pipe wind pipe so so the food will not enter the wind pipe there is a trigger of a cuff which has been there so that is why it will prevent from going the food into the wind pipe also so this was about the pharynx part next is about the larynx so the larynx as you can see this part is called the larynx which is been shown here there are vocal cords also which has been displayed here. so larynx which is also called as the voice box now there is a two cartilaginous cords that lay that lay the framework for the larynx so it is found in the front of the neck and it is responsible for vocals as well as aiding the respiration so it is known as the voice box so whenever the food is swallowed a flap called epiglottis folds over the top of the windpipe and prevents the food from entering the larynx so this is the role of epiglottis here the next is trachea so the trachea or the wind pipe which we call it as rises below the larynx and moves down to the neck so here is a diagrammatic representation that where is trachea located so you can see it is below the larynx rises below the larynx and moves down to the neck so it will be moving down towards the neck and it has been divided into the two lungs so the valves of the trachea comprises of c shape cartilaginous rings which gives hardness to the trachea and maintain it by completely expanding so it will maintain it by completely expanding it expand it extends further down to the breastbone and splits into two bronchi one for the each lung so this is the trachea 
Next is the bronchi or bronchiolus. So there are two as we you have can see this. This is the left and this is the right bronchus. So the trachea splits into two tubes. As you can see this, the trachea is splitting into two tubes here. So which is called the bronchi, which enter each lung individually. Now the bronchi they divide into secondary and tertiary bronchioles and it further branches out into small air, air sac called the alveoli. The alveoli, they are single cell sacs of air within thin, uh, thin walls. With thin walls. And it facilitates the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide molecules into or away from the bloodstream. So this is known as the bronchi. Next is about the lungs. So lungs which is the primary organ of the respiration in humans and other vertebrates. So it's play, it plays a major role in the respiratory system. It is located on either side of the heart in the thoracic cavity of the chest. So there are a pair of lungs that are organized in a systematic way that they are arranged by thin membranes and the smaller tubes is called the bronchioles. So the, it, it also includes a balloon-like structure called alveoli and the network of blood capillaries which increases the surface area of the lungs for the exchange of gases. So the primary function of the lungs is to facilitate the exchange of gases between the blood and the air and interestingly the right lung is quite bigger and heavier than the left lung. So this is a fact about the lung. So this was all uh, this was all about the respiratory organs. These are some of the references. Thank you.